how much pain can you take? Let me just explain to you, okay? I'm gonna give you the strength to experience or go through your painful experiences. So now, all of this pain, either it is physical pain, either it is your mental pain, either it is your emotional pain, all of this pain have to come from experiences because life is experience, okay? You cannot run away from this experience, these people, okay, that has been sent to you by the soul of earth, by the universe. You are here to experience through them, okay? and the natural body pains that you get all of these sickness and diseases you know there are something there are some strength there is some power in accepting the things at it as it is and learning and growing with it let me just explain to you do you know how many people along along this journey here on planet earth disappeared in the jungle we have so many higher masters that that walked through through this earth through experiences why they themselves even though they had foods shelter you know water access to water they decided to go out in the forest disappear in the jungles meditating like buddha did meditating fasting while he was not drinking any water while there, he was not eating any kind of food even if he had those kind of resources also also those people who stand on different kind of yoga posters like headstand for hours okay what what Rumi did Rumi he was dancing Sufi dancing going around for hours for many days without any foods without drinking water so we have that power to put ourselves into that pain because there is some something that is more higher than just the pain to experience okay we put ourselves right now ramadan going on people they are dry fasting they are not drinking any water they are not eating any kind of food so they are experiencing they are, they put themselves into that pain okay there is people who who can stand on fire for hours it's burning okay there are people who 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 is walking around the world in hot weather day hot weather hot sand without any kind of shoes so you put yourself into that pain so that you can experience the divine within you is like how much pain can you take okay how much pain it is same with our experiences it is same with those people that that torture us emotionally okay mentally it is same with our own experiences that we have gone through along this journey like how much pain you are here to experience how much pain it has been given by nature to us so that we can experience it same with accepting life as it is it is painful to let go of the things that we really love that means that you you get everything and to lose everything like you have to let go of your mother that gave you birth you have to let go of everybody that you know the death takes us all you have to let go of this body that you decorate it this body that you care a lot for this body that you do a lot for you have to let go of your young self one day your hair is going going to be gray your body is not going to be young enough your skin you have to let go of everything it is painful it is painful so now the question my questions to you is how much pain can you take you are here to practice okay you're here to practice this to to take all of this pain as it is and and still standing strong so that you can experience the divineness within you instead of hating instead of torturing torturing yourself every single day so that you lose the value of your life so that you disconnect yourself from your own higher self to experience the divine like these people who've been sitting in meditation for hours after hours after hours they're experiencing something right i remember when i was living in the ashram where there was that old lady who is meditating and she had lots of physical pain ambulance came came and took her to the hospital but she was still smiling why she said i'm having my physical pain but i am happy her mind 
friend was one with the divine within herself where she was she reached to a state of heaven within herself and no physical pain no experience outer reality no experiences can affect the bliss that she logged into within herself okay that bliss that inner peace inner harmony in that divineness that exists within us if we if we can when we are into that state nothing bothers us anymore no experiences no people can bother you even those your nearest and dearest that you hate your nearest dearest that you say oh they are bad you know just because they make you feel in certain way just because they 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 did something towards you now you hate them now you distance yourself from from them with your heart you're here to love appreciate those people that give you the biggest lessons are here in life that give you big biggest wounds and suffering appreciate because it is happen for a reason and you just have to find the reason you just have to find the wisdom in it through all of this you rise you rise into the heaven within in yourself through all of this you rise into that purity within in yourself and become that purest white lotus and shine with your light nothing can dim your light you are the only one who is dimming your own light nobody else can do it because everybody here is the master teacher and the student at the same time so appreciate those people that is around that is they are teaching you something that is they are here to show you something that you have to work within in yourself every time that something bothers you it's something within you that you have to fix there are so many people just want to be on that blissful state right so they what they do they take so many different kind of substance just just to feel good and they make this to their god you should be on the new neutral healthy state where you you just breathe in the oxygen and you get high of this you feel that love because of your breathing that vital energy it's not only air that you are breathing it's way much more divine and bigger that vital unseen thing that you are breathing in <sighs> it's sweet it's sweet so again how much pain can you take how much pain can you take practice every single day to take all of this pain and still keep your heart open to love to compassion to this pure energy that you are born with there is this divineness that exists within you you are divine you are divine everybody is living life is like you are vibrating on that lowest state of your being instead of vibrating on your highest state of your being of your life when you can just allow yourself to practice those natural laws that has been given to us to really understand to really live with it live a conscious life okay that is why understand this this ultimate truth about us that we are super powerful we are capable of anything through this human body and you are here to live a conscious life to be in the awareness self awareness <sighs> and just breathe and always be ready to experience whatever it is like why you want to always be on this goody 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 you know where you are like letting go of everything and just i'm not gonna experience anything it's like no no like learn to learn how to practice it all experiencing it all and still not losing the divineness within you your natural state your natural state is the supreme state supreme state is your neutral state while your neutral state is like breathing you are observing everything your emotions your thoughts your experiences while you are one with the observer that exists within you instead of instead of getting shocked instead of 
instead of becoming one with all of this thunder, storm and clouds, the fire, burning fire that is right here existing. You can log into anything. You can log into hell. You can log into heaven within in yourself. You can become one with all of this that you are not. Okay? And we have to always practice to be the observer that we are instead of being too attached to what we are not. And you know what you are not, right? So do as much as you can as long as you are in this human body. Because the reward shall be given to you. The blessings are already right here. The love, the blessing, the guardians, the protection that you need, it is here. You are living in abundance of universal love, universal happiness, universal joy, universal harmony. You are the greatest light that ever been created. That is why everything shines so bright. There is no separation between some, the sunlight and you. I don't see any kind of separation. We are all one. So go for it, experience, but make sure your heart your mind, your intentions are always pure. Do not blame yourself if you become a teacher one day while you have to give someone a hard lesson. If something comes through you naturally, okay, it is given by the universe. When something, something is being expressed through you, okay it is because of the universe is expressing you have to it's not always you you give someone else lesson this is also your own lessons through you so th so that you can rise above all of this okay so don't punish yourself just don't be aware of your own own actions reactions your own self we are here to appreciate each other and then heal, forgive, let go. Finding these wisdoms, finding the glory that is within, within us. Rising in love with that, that pure, 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 pure energy that exists within us. So hey guys, thank you all for listening. This is your golden healer subscribe for more i hope this helps you right now with whatever you're going through